guys, Brian here, Big B Rebooted. Great going on another fishing adventure? I know I am. Man, it's a beautiful fall day here. I, I couldn't decide where I wanted to fish, so I came to the 4th Street Bridge where I filmed a couple of episodes, uh, the urban fishing episodes. Um, gonna start here. If I don't get into anything here, then I'm gonna go below the spillway somewhere and I'll get in there. And But you'll see that later on in the video if I don't get into stuff here. So we'll see where I end up. I've got uh, minnows, I've got worms, I've got uh, halgermite. I've even got some spinners and such. You know, I'm gonna try a little bit of everything just to see what I can get to bite. So you never know, man. Hey guys, stick around. We'll see what happens. Oh, you know what it is? It's a d fall fish. <laughs> yep. It's a bastard, but it's a fall fish. There you go, guys. Look at that. My first fish here is a fall fish. Go figure. See you later, nut. I got a nice one again. Just another fall fish. Holy, <laughs> I'm into the fall fish. This thing's got to be about 18 inches long. See you later, buddy. Just splash me. Um, yeah. I hate fall fish, guys. Well, guys, it is a beautiful, if not crisp, fall day. The water temperature is definitely colder than what it's been, especially from the last time I was here. But, you know, I'm just hoping that I can get uh, some fish to bite. I've got Helger mites. I'm still trying. Yes, I'm stuck on Helger mites. I got minnows that I'm going to throw around. I got a bunch of other stuff. I'm just going to try a little bit of everything and see what's working. Right now, I've thrown the Helgramite around a little bit, and I've caught two big fall fish. But, you know, it is what it is. We'll see how things go, how it progresses. But I'm hoping that I can get into, some, get into something decent and, you know, go from there. Because, honestly, you know, eventually I'm going to run out of, of time to fish because I'm, uh, the clock is winding down, so to speak, on, on the fishing season season here on in the East Coast. Now for for a guy like me, now you got hardcore guys that are gonna fish here and fish there and do this and do that, and that's cool. It really is, but you know, for a guy like me, it's, it's starting to wind down, which means, you know, less and less content and till nothing until next spring. But until then, I'm going to try to fish as much as I can and and hopefully have some su successful fishing trips. Look at the size of this guy. And it's another fall fish that I got under the gill plate. There we go. Come here, nut. Come on, dude. I didn't want to grab you this way. Look at the size of this guy. Wow, look at the beautiful red fins. That is awesome. That is seriously awesome. Beautiful. See you later, buddy. Well, if anything, I can, I've caught full fish. <laughs> I've caught three of them now, the slimy suckers. Okay, guys, I've changed over to the Berkeley Gulp Minnow, the three inch. See what we can get into. There's one. Oh, he got off. He got off. Ah. Uh, that felt like a decent one. I should have brought some hot hands or something to put in my pocket. Ooh, my fingers are freezing. There's one. Guys, there we go, another fall fish. Guess this is gonna be a fall fish kind of day, I suppose. That's crazy. 
just as uh, you know another train that's like train number five or six and since I've been here sucker got me all slimy there's another one that's probably another dang fall fish is it it is oh it isn't it's a smallie okay I'll take you okay guys there's my first smallie that look at the beautiful markings on this guy see you later buddy well guys, I have changed locations like I said I would. Uh, I didn't get into many bass. Matter of fact, I just got into one mediocre sized bass and a bunch of huge fall fish, which is not what I want. So I changed locations. I am now at the Racetown Lake Spillway below it. Right now the sun's out, but there's clouds everywhere and it's, you know, kind of seems like it's going downhill a little bit as far as weather goes, but I'm gonna try to get into something. You know, hopefully I can get into something got my fingers crossed so hopefully this stops a little better if not i'll just keep on going see you in a few well as i said in that brief little intro or whatever or brief little interlude i have changed locations i am now below the racetown lake spillway and I'm hoping to get into anything, you know. I've got about an hour and a half to kill. So I don't have a lot of time. But I'm going to do my best, you know. I'm going to work my way down here. Hopefully hit... Hopefully hit a couple places that I've hit in the summer here a month or so ago. And was fairly successful. Got into a bunch of bass. So, you know, it would be nice. We'll see. Okay, guys, I actually switched back to the Nico Helgramite to natural. We're going to see if I can get into anything here with that. Because I was fishing with the Berkeley Galt Minnow and really not doing anything. Not getting any bites, nothing. So, you know, try to switch up. Maybe get into something, hopefully. There we go. Well, this already made my day right here. Just switching places and catching this guy. Okay guys, real quickly, there we go. Here we go. See you later, buddy. Been struggling a bit. Haven't even gotten a bite, and then out of nowhere, that guy hit me. There's one. What do we got here? Ah, uh, Sonny. Pretty little sunny. Oh, look at the colors on you. I don't know if you can really appreciate that or not. Beautiful colors. See you later, buddy. Beautiful colors.
This is a nice one. This is a little chunky guy or gal. Look at that. There you go. There you go, guys. See you later, buddy. I'm only going to throw a couple more over this way and then I'm I'm going to go back out and fish out behind me here back in the main stream here. What do we got here? A little rock bass? Yes, sir. Little rock bass. I'll take them. That makes for different species. I've caught fall fish. I've caught bass. Fall fish, bass, sunfish. Now this guy. All right. Here we go. See you later, buddy. You don't got to hit me in the leg. Come on now. You don't got to be that way. I'm just wading down. I'm going to turn around here and show you. All the way up there is where I started. And you can see the wind's blowing right to my back, to my right. This is... It's turning out to be an ugly day. But as soon as I get down here, I'm going to get out. There's one, and that is a beautiful fish. Holy cow, holy cow. Holy moly, I was just about to give up. Oh. <laughs> oh. Holy cow, holy cow. Guys, guys, I cannot believe this. Come here. Oh, I barely had him hooked. I barely had him hooked. Uh, I don't know how the heck I'm even going to hold my freaking rod. Look at the size of this guy. Look at that. He's easily every bit of 19, 20 inches, and I'm guaranteeing you three or plus pounds. That is incredible. Absolutely incredible. Ah, uh, ah, uh, holy smokes. Un freaking believable. Un freaking believable. I got to try to. Ah, uh, incredible, incredible. See you later, buddy. See you later. You just made my entire year. Ah. <laughs> uh. Can you believe that just happened? I cannot believe, I was actually on my way out. I literally was about to reel in to wait out. 
that fish was three four pounds easily over 20 inches easily holy cow holy holy cow that just <laughs> look at the smile on my face guys that made my day that's what i'm talking about man he got me in the finger uh i don't even care oh man incredible absolutely incredible okay guys that's gonna wrap up today's adventure wow what a way to end a trip possibly an end to end my season because i don't know how many more times i'm gonna be able to get to go out this year wow 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 uh i caught a bunch of fall fish to start when i was at the uh, fourth street bridge i caught a uh, i think just one smallie there i don't know eight to ten inches maybe um i changed spots i decided to come down to the spillway well i didn't really catch anything here you know i i, I got into some sunfish further down here and i was had gone all the way down to where I got out and I was just gonna get out and I got that monster oh can't can't describe how happy I am to have gotten that guy or got to got to to have gotten that fish you know that's I can't describe how I feel to have gotten that fish that's unbelievable I'm happy it took me a minute to quit shaking Although he did make me pay for it, he jugged me with his uh, dorsal fin, and uh, I was bleeding pretty good there for a minute. But I'll take that every single time, every single time. Guys, I don't know how many more trips I'm gonna have this year, so if that happens to be the last one of the year, that's a heck of a way to go out, isn't it? I'm hoping to get out at least one or two more times this year before I call it quits, but uh, hey, Hopefully I have as, you know, I, I can get into some more fish. But if you like the video I post, please give me a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate you. And if you like the videos I post, please subscribe to my channel. Again, I appreciate every single one of you. Uh, at last count, I was at 400, which isn't a lot, but for me it is. You know, that's 400 people that tell me that they want to see my videos, which is absolutely awesome. I appreciate you guys. And until the next time, guys, keep on fishing. Yeah.